San Diego County Sheriff Bill Gore is not running for re-election to a fourth term. That means San Diegans will elect a new county sheriff as Gore's term ends in January 2023. He says it's time for him to move on, marking the first time the current sheriff is not on the ballot in more than 30 years. News 8's Kirsten Holmes spoke with Sheriff Gore today about his accomplishments, the lessons he's learned, and his advice for San Diego's next sheriff. Sheriff Bill Gore is 73 years old and has led the department for the last 12 years. He says he's leaving behind a stronger, more effective department. He touts accomplishments like lowering the recidivism rate in county jails, leading the department through the pandemic, and focusing on information-based policing to tackle crime. It was a tough year with a lot of the, uh, with the pandemic and dealing with that. Uh, with some of the civil unrest in the county. Uh, I think that uh, we're a better department for what we've gone through. A reflective Sheriff Gore looks back at some of the tensest moments of the racial reckoning of the summer of 2020 and says he and the department as a whole learned a lot of lessons. Gore says it's the California criminal justice realignment of 2011, though, that serves as his department's biggest challenge. That shifted 40,000 inmates from state prisons to county jails. It was a gigantic adjustment. I'm so proud of the way this department uh, and actually the entire public safety community in San Diego uh, handled that very, that very uh, uh, dramatic shift. And keeping those inmates out of jail. We went from a 72% recidivism rate in the state. The last numbers I saw for the county now were, were 33%. So that's, that's a gigantic difference. And you do that by improving the rehabilitation programming in your facilities giving people the skills and abilities they need to be successful when they leave our institutions. All of this while being smart about exactly how to fight crime, to which Gore credits what he calls information-based policing and making sure there are enough resources to help protect all of San Diego County. When I came to the Sheriff's Department, I think we had six analysts, six crime analysts. We have 33 crime analysts now. Another lesson learned as top cop in the county was addressing the mortality rate in San Diego jails, which at one point had the highest rate among large counties in the state. According to the San Diego Union Tribune, at least 140 people died in custody over a 10 year span beginning in 2009, to which Gore says he brought in a team of experts to figure out what the problem was. In the meantime, we have gone from uh, my time as sheriff uh, from spending about $55 million in our jails on medical and mental health care to this next year with the support of the Board of Supervisors, we're going to spend $130 million on medical and mental health care in our facility. He touts one of the lowest crime rates of a comparable county in size as a measure of success, but adds going forward, the department can do more to ensure everyone in San Diego County can trust law enforcement. I think the number I've seen is 250 to 300,000 undocumented people in San Diego County. They have to feel safe in reporting crimes and being witnesses to crimes. Otherwise, the entire county becomes less safe. San Diego County voters will elect a new sheriff in 2022. Kirsten Holmes, News 8.